All right, scholars, welcome to level 1.1, what is an organism? Before we get started, I want you to pause the video and fill in your name, date, and page number. Good job. Let's get started. So, we're getting ready to start our next science, life science. Now, life science, this unit is setting you up for 7th grade science. So, I know you're wondering, what is life science? Life science is the study of living things. I want you to fill that in in your notes now. Scientists call living things organisms, and organisms are made up of cells. Pause the video and fill it in in your notes. So, what is a cell? Cells are the basic unit of structure and function of all organisms. They are also the building blocks of all organisms. I think that's in your notes. So go ahead and pause it and fill it in. Cells are microscopic, which means we can't see them with our naked eye. I need a microscope to see a cell. Remember we learned about that tool earlier this year? Go ahead and fill it in your notes. I saw it there earlier. Way to go. All right, so can an organism have just one cell? Of course it can. This is called unicellular. If an organism has more than one cell, it's called unicellular. Go ahead and fill it in in your notes. Make sure you pause the video. So now I know you're wondering, what if an organism has more than one cell? Well, in that case, it's called multicellular. Go ahead and fill that in in your notes now. So, now we've learned about all these things that an organism has called cells, but what makes something an organism? Well, all organisms are made up of cells. One characteristic that all living things must have is they must be able to breathe. I want you to take a deep breath in and out. You see that? You have one characteristic of an organism. Go ahead and fill that in on number one in your notes now. Great job. All right. The second thing an organism must be able to do is reproduce. You and I just didn't pop up out of nowhere. We came from two parents. So what I want you to do is fill in for number two the word reproduce. Make sure you pause it. Good job. All right. The third thing you must be able to do is move. See? Moving my hand. All right. Now you try it. Great job. Go ahead for number three. Pause the video and write move. Great job. All right. So the next thing all living things must be able to do is eat. You and I eat lunch every day in the cafeteria. So for number four, I want you to write the word eat. Great job. Now let's watch this Venus flytrap, which is a plant, eat. As you see, his owner just ate, and he's human. So now let's watch him eat, too. So, as you see, look, there it goes. A Venus tra flytrap is an example of a plant, and it's a living organism, too. All right, the last thing all mu living things must do is grow. For number five, I want you to write grow. Good job. All right, so, now I want you to take a few minutes Pause the video and write one question you have about what you learned. Anything that popped into your head. But if you don't have a question, I want you to come up with a quiz question for a teammate. Make sure you pause it. 
Did you pause it? Good job. All right, so. So, Miss Lee Powell knows you completed the video and you did what you were supposed to do. I want you to give her a thumbs up. And she'll come over and check. Here I come. I'm coming. Give me a second. Pause the video. I'm coming. Congratulations. You have completed level 1.1. Raise three fingers for your next activity.